to my channel, it's Caitlin here and today I have a get ready with me for a night out for you. I am going out tonight for a friend's birthday so I thought I would fill my makeup and my hair a little bit and I've also got a bit of outfit as well. So I thought I would do this for you, it's kind of like all my go to products. My eye look is a little bit different to my usual but on the whole these are my go-to products at the moment for night out makeup. So I filmed all for you and I really hope that you enjoy this video. Please leave a like, it would make me really happy and if you haven't already you should also subscribe, it's just down there. Press the little bell as well, that would be super cool. So I really hope you enjoy this video and let's just get into it. To start off with primer, I'm going to take a mixture of this primer here by Benefit on my more textured areas and then on my highlights areas then I'm going to pop a little bit of this one here which is the Lumi Magique primer from L'Oreal. I don't have long to get ready, I have about an hour which is fine if you're doing it without filming but an hour to get ready whilst filming is not the most possible thing in the world so I'm trying to go as fast as I can in this video. Moving on to foundation, the foundation which I'm going to use today is this one by Bourjois. This is the Healthy Mix foundation and I do love using this on nights out because it has a really good coverage and I feel like it lasts really really well on my skin and I'm actually going to be using a brush for this today because I'm feeling like mixing it up. I was watching Sophie Foster, if any of you guys watch her, and she was using a brush for her foundation in one of her videos and I kind of felt like going back to using one today so I am popping this on using a Sigma flat kabuki brush and I used to love this brush so I'm going back and trying it again. I have filmed so many get ready with me's recently and uploaded none of them just because I've never been happy with them recently. I don't know what it is, just the makeup looks haven't come out nice on camera. I mean they've looked nice in person and I've taken thumbnail selfies and stuff and they look really really fine but when I start editing them I just think they look a bit pants on camera and I mean who's gonna watch a video if the makeup look looks awful so um yeah this is like my fourth get ready with me that I filmed this week so Hopefully this one actually ends up going onto YouTube, otherwise I'm going to be fed up of filming Get Ready With Me. For my concealer, I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW20. And I'm going to pop this underneath my eyeballs and also on my chin and on my forehead a little bit as well. This is nice and light so it acts like a highlight for me. I'm actually going to use a flat foundation brush just to pat this in. And a tip with concealer if you're using brushes is dab it out using this just by patting and then get a really fluffy brush which is nice and clean and just use this to blend the edges and that way you don't end up dragging your concealer all the way down your face because the point of concealer is to stay in your highlight area as well. Blech. The point in under eye concealer is to stay in your highlight areas, so it's rubbish if you end up blending it down your face. So just take a little flat brush, I mean this isn't that little, but pat it in, just try not poke yourself in the eye, which I've done already. I feel like a clean fluffy brush as well, it picks up areas that are too heavy and it disperses it really nicely around your face. I really don't know what I'm talking about. Feel too heavy in certain areas and too cakey and um, it just nicely takes off the excess. For powder I'm going to be using my classic Laura Mercier powder and um, I really don't experiment with powder that much anymore especially for nights out because I love the Laura Mercier stuff so much I just don't want to go with anything else because nothing else so far has impressed me so much so I am kind of baking I'm just pressing a hell lot of powder underneath my eyes and where I've basically just put concealer that is what I'm doing and I'll kind of leave it there for a little bit. But moving on to contour, I'm going to be taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I've not used this in forever so I'm going back to it 
And I'm going to take my middle trusty contour shade here, pop this on the usual contour areas, and the brush which I use is the Morphe M530 brush. The one thing which I don't really like about the Kat Von D um, bronzers is if you accidentally use too much then it goes very muddy, which I think I've kind of done today. Not ideal sometimes. I'm just going to now brush away what is left of the powder underneath my eyes to get rid of that. And then for my blusher today, I'm going to take this little palette, which is by Stila. This is the Perfect Me, Perfect Hue in the shade Light palette, and it's got face and eyes. And I'm just going to take the darker shade blusher, which is at the corner here, and use this as blusher today. This is a really pretty, pretty pink colour, which pretty much goes with every single look, so... I do love this colour. This is the shade Playful and they might sell it um, individually which would be really good. So for my eyes today I'm going to be going to my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. As I mentioned at the start of this video I'm doing my go-to look when I'm in a rush, what I always reach for and this is the palette which I trust the most to just give me a nice eye look and it's just going to turn out okay. So this is what I'm going to be using today. I Firstly um, I'm actually just going to prime my eyelids with a little bit of concealer and then I will get back on to doing eyeshadow. I've just forgotten I've done that. So the first shade which I'm going to take is this one here, the orangey brown transition shade colour and I'm just going to blend that into my crease. I'm going to blend this right into the inner corner as well because I have been loving doing that recently, making sure I'm getting it nice and high up as well. I don't know, I just feel like you gotta have your transition everywhere. Now I'm just going to take some of this darker shade here, which is just down in the centre of the palette, and I'm going to pop this again, kind of just in my crease again, but making it a little bit more precise, so that I'm not getting it too high up, because that would not be good. And I'm going to take that on my inner corner as well, because I'm going to do a halo eye today. Not gonna lie, Halo Eye is not my go-to. But I'm feeling a little bit adventurous. Now I'm gonna grab the darkest one down in the corner here and pop this on my outer corner and my inner corner to fully, to fully darken up this look. And then I'm just going to quickly emulate what I've done at the top on the bottom part of my eyelid, what you call it, underneath my eye, um, just to balance out everything going on. So firstly with the warm neutral shade underneath, I'm just blending this in. Then I'm just going in with the middle brown shade and I'm just popping this in the outer corner of my eye and then the inner corner as well even though that'll probably end up running but we tried and we tried and then with the darkest shade I am popping that underneath my eye again with a more precise brush and this is the darkest shade so now I'm going back in with this concealer, I'm going to pop a little bit on the very centre of my eyelid just to make sure that we re brighten up that area because that is going to be where I put my highlight so I just want to make sure that it's nice and set. I don't know what I'm saying. Now that I've set a base for all my shimmery shades I am going to grab a combination of, oh you can't see this, um, I'm going to grab a combination of these two shades here, the gold and the champagne colour. I think I'm going to stick mostly to gold because I'm feeling golden today. Um, so now that I've put the gold, I obviously need to blend this because it looks a little bit too insane. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shadow, which was our transition shade, and I'm going to take it on the brush that we used our darkest shade with. So I'm getting the precision, but I'm using the transition shade. Blending out the edges. 
like so. Um, now I'm going to just grab a black liner and line around my eyes with this just to add a little bit more drama to the eye look going on here. I'm just going to now pop some mascara on my bottom lashes and I will also add some false eyelashes on because I can't go a night out without wearing false lashes. I'm now going to firstly finish off and do my highlights because I forgot to do that which is a little bit weird. Um, so I'm going to be using the Laura Geller um, Glided, actually I always say Glided, it's not, it's Gilded Honey and it's just a super pretty golden colour and I'm going to pop this on my cheeks because I've got gold eyes going on today and I feel like this will match really really nicely. And I'm just going to bring this up to my brow bone as well because I did not do a brow bone highlight and just down my nose as well. But for my lips today I'm going to use this NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Satin Ribbon. I'm going to use this and it's quite pale but I don't want anything too overpowering because my eyes are quite dark, they're quite golden, I don't want colours to clash so I'm just going to use this today and these are very drying so I will be using a gloss over the top. Okay and then on the top I'm just going to pop some clear gloss, this is the MAC Luster Glass, this, this is the MAC Luster Glass in the shade Luster White and it's just a clear sparkly gloss. I'm going to pop this on the top to make my lips shimmer a little bit more. So for my hair today I actually curled it like an hour ago and then I put it up in a bun so literally I am hoping that I have not ruined my hairstyle. When I curl my hair I have the habit of making it too extreme so I thought if I kind of put it in a bun whilst I filmed it would maybe flatten. So to add volume I'm just going to be using the Shu Yumera Volume Boost. All you do is you get the little brush, you give it a bit of a pop here so that you have product in the brush and then you just run it through your hair. So I'm just going to do that and run this through my roots. And then I'm just going to kind of scrunch my hair at the top to get some more volume. This is what we're going to go with. I'm not too sure. I'm not good at hair, okay guys? But this is what we're going to go with. I'm just going to tuck this behind my ear and just do some sort of side thing going on. Um, so guys, this is the completed look which I have for you. It's kind of like all my go-to products for a night out. Um, I did kind of switch up the makeup, which I usually do because I decided to go for a halo eye, but on the whole, this is pretty much what I do on a night out um, and what I have been doing very recently. So I wanted to share that with you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you like the look. I will leave a link to my outfit which I'm wearing on my Instagram so you guys can check out what outfit I'm wearing tonight um, so that you can have like hair, makeup and outfit. I know that you guys like that. So check out the link down, the first link in the description. It'll be my Instagram post so you can see what outfit I'm wearing tonight and if that is all I have to say please leave a like and subscribe as well that would make me really happy and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye guys!